welcome to this video tutorial this is Amin and in this video I'm going to ex explain and introduce you that how you can configure Mailgun on your domain on SPF and Dikim so you can make sure that your emails your outgoing emails are passing successfully to your recipients so let's move into the tutorial so as you can see I am already logged into my Mailgun dashboard so please make sure that you are already logged into your dashboard in the Mailgun once you're logged in, we will head into the sending page and the domains page. You need to click on the add new domain, type your subdomain. So it is a very important section that you need to write down your subdomain instead of your root domain. So I have already done this and I have already created that and added my subdomain. Once this, I'm seeing and redirect it to this page, which it means that my configuration is still not yet finished. So let's move into the configuration on how we can, how we are gonna do this. So in the second step, you need to make sure that you are already logged into your DNS zone. The first thing, I'm copying the host name and I will log into my DNS zone. So as you can see, I have already logged into my DNS zone, uh, which is the Cloudflare in the DNS zone section. So the first thing I'm going to do is click on the add new record, choose the TXT, paste the sub, paste the host name, click copy the value and click on save. Now easily the first step is done. Let's move into the next step, which is Dekim record. So as you can, so as you know, having the SPF and Dikim is highly recommended. So let's move and add this as well. So I will copy the Dikim key, choose the TXT, copy the subdomain name, copy the host name, my apologies. And I will copy the value here and the paste in the section. I will save. Perfect. So we, uh, the half of the process is already done. So let's move into the next section, which is the Amex records. So to be able to let the mailgun to fully have access. So we also need to add the Amex records on our DNS zone. I will go to my DNS zone, choose Amex, paste the house name. Copy the value here and here I will paste and as you can see there's a priority which is 10 and I will write the priority and again click on save. Next step is the same process I will do. So again I will create choose Amex record. I will make sure to have this. Copy the value and again the priority as it is, which is 10, I will paste, I will write it and click on save. So as you can see, everything is going on the flow and perfect. The next thing we need to add is the CNAME record, which is actually for the tracking and for making the mailgun to verify your domain and having the access for your subscription and etc. I will choose CNAME. Copy the host name. And in case you're using a CDN, please make sure that proxy status is off and it is on DNS only. Once you have done this process, we click on save. Once it is done, everything in this process will be done and you only need to click on the verify DNS. So, you might face that maybe this process will take some time and it is not already handled, which is really okay. As you can see, it takes some time for the records to be verified. So let's move into and like the like to summarize the process. So first we have added the SPF record, the DKIM record, the MX record, and the CNAM record, which actually is CNAM record is for tracking records to like for the necessary things that Mailgun asks the MX record and which we have already added together. So 
I hope that you enjoyed this video tutorial. In case if you need anything, please don't hesitate to reach out. Have a good day.